approaching 62 years old and with a population exceeding 170 million. Pakistan is again at war, a war with the Pakistani Taliban, which has increasing public support. But while there is some popular consensus on fighting the Taliban, there is massive opposition to how the war is being waged. The people of Pakistan are almost completely opposed to the U.S. drone attacks, which are being carried out with impunity across the tribal territories of Pakistan and along its frontier with Afghanistan. For every Talib fighter killed, there are numerous civilian dead and wounded, which in turn fuels hatred against those who carry out such attacks. Comment from the capital appears to reflect the wider feelings from across the country. We strongly condemn the US drones attack as without investigation they are firing misses indiscriminately, which in return kill innocent civilians. America is responsible for drone attacks and they are the major threat not only for Pakistan but all Muslim world. So why have several decades of warm relations between Islamabad and Washington now soured to a point where the U.S. is viewed as a major threat to the country's integrity? Pakistan is in the middle of a war against terror that has been imposed upon them. Pakistan is in the middle of a homegrown a uh, wave of terrorism that is really tearing the country apart. Pakistan is not seeing the benefits of the war against terror that we are fighting for the United States. The people of Pakistan, although all of them are not well educated, but all of them have ears and eyes open and they can see the direction in which the country is headed. People are feeling humiliated with the way the drone attacks are going on and which is dismantling, as they say, the sovereignty of Pakistan. But anger against the U.S. policy does not translate into support for Pakistan's new political leadership, which many say only came about as a result of a deal between a military dictator and the Pakistan People's Party. Despite the differences of opinion, one thing, however, is clear that the effect of a mercurial friendship has had some effect on the locals here. All across Pakistan, people are preparing to celebrate Independence Day, but they are also asking their government to have a more independent foreign policy, one that is not dependent on foreign powers. Kamal Haider, Al Jazeera, Islamabad.